Hey viewers, I have been fighting this seat post now for a week, trying all kinds of different methods to try to get this thing out of there. I tried pulling out with a winch. Um, I've been using a ton of penetrating oil, uh, Kano Croil, good stuff. I've been, uh, I tried to use an air hammer, try to pound it out, try to pound it in, get it to move at all, nothing. I used dry ice to try to freeze it down and use the air hammer to try to get it to move, nothing. I heated up with a heat gun that freeze, froze it down with dry ice and try went back and forth heating and cooling. Um, even use a little hand sledge trying to get it to move, nothing. I used a pipe wrench trying to rotate it. It just started squishing down. Um, it has not moved at all. So I've given up hope that I can pull this thing out of this frame as is. So it is time to cut this thing out of there. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. One way or the other, this is coming out of the frame tonight. Okay, I want to know how far the seat post extends down into the seat tube there. So I have a piece of wire here with like a little bent end. So I can reach this down in there, kind of hook the bottom of the seat post there. And so right there. And so the bottom of the seat post is right about there. So it's about five inches down into the seat tube there. So that gives me an idea of how far I need to cut down uh, to cut a slot into that uh, seat post. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to cut off a big chunk of this seat post there. I want to leave some extended out of there. I don't want to cut it flush with the top of the seat tube there, but I want to leave maybe about an inch or three quarters of an inch sticking out of there so I have some stuff to grab uh, and to pull it out after I cut it. So I got my uh, Sawzall here, Milwaukee uh, Sawzall, and I'm going to just go ahead and cut this right off here like this. Okay, so now the reason that the seat post is stuck in this frame is something called galvanic uh, corrosion. This is an aluminum seat post inside of a steel frame, and you get dissimilar metals like this. The aluminum oxidizes, and aluminum oxide uh, takes up more space. So what happens is this seat post basically inside this uh, seat tube here sort of has expanded banded in there to fill up that space so it's kind of wedged itself in there and almost welded itself to the uh, steel inside this uh, seat tube. So what I need to do is I need to be able to get it to uh, compress down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some uh, slots lengthwise from the inside of this seat, tube, seat post out. And so I'm going to cut like at least one slot there and maybe cut slots on some different sides there so that hopefully I can relieve that pressure, kind of squish it in and pull it out. Now to do this, again, I'm going to be using my reciprocating saw and the blade I'm using is a very coarse uh, tooth blade. It's six teeth per inch. It's actually a wood blade, but it will cut aluminum. Aluminum is a pretty soft metal, so I can use this to cut the aluminum and it'll cut the aluminum fairly well but it won't cut the steel nearly as easily. So I still want to use caution and try to cut just the aluminum and just cut a nice flat line on different sides. And so hopefully I can weaken that uh, seat post and crush it down and pull it out of there. Now, if you don't have a big reciprocating saw like this, you can also use a hacksaw blade. Uh, they make little handles uh, that you can use to cut. It just takes, it's very time consuming. And they even have like handles for like recipro uh, reciprocating uh, saw blades like this. You get little handles and use that. It's just very time consuming. So I want to use my uh, power saw here because I think it'll just go much faster. But I also have to uh, use uh, much caution then. Okay, so I think I'm through the one side. Okay, I'll flip the frame over and now I'm going to cut a slot in the other side a little bit, hopefully weaken it. And then maybe I'll try to go slot in the side here a little bit. And then now maybe with those uh, slots in there, if I get like a little bit of penetrating oil in all around and through there, maybe with those slots, it'll kind of get in there. 
and soak in. And then maybe like just tap it with a, like a little bit of a sledge, see if I can get it to break loose. Oh, it's moving in there anyway. Okay, it's too tight to really pull out easily, so uh, what I did was I clamped vice grips on to the end there, and I'm going to use my air hammer to try to uh, impact it out, just kind of a little bit at a time. I got that sucker out of there. Yes! And so this is what the bottom of the seat post looked like. A ton of oxidation and crud on there. Uh, and the inside of the seat tube looks very similar. I had to clean all that stuff out of there as well as all the aluminum shavings and the bottom bracket shell as well. Clean all that out. Um, I looked down inside the seat tube and there are some markings from the saw blade but very minimal, nothing major. So the, the frame will be fine. And, uh, but I got that seat post out of there and I can reuse this frame. Um, I really recommend this method as a last resort. Try to get uh, the seat post out uh, in other ways without uh, cutting if you can. But this thing was completely stuck in there and I tried like all the other methods first and it was not budging. So, but I got it out. Um, hopefully you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. You'll see new videos that come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I put a ton of stuff over there. And I have a web page, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page. And I have my videos categorized. I have forums over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.